the first instant that I noticed at school, he was referred to as Marcus with the face because there was another child called Marcus in his year. Uh, the first thing that he really noticed was kids started to call him names. I think the toughest time was hitting senior school, where you go from a couple of a hundred children that have grown up with him to hundreds of children that are from all different areas that have never met Sam before or seen Sam or have even met anyone with a visible difference before. The teacher um, had an infant assembly and where she spoke about how David was feeling and she showed them David's creams and dressings that he would use, let them touch them and feel them and smell them basically so they knew what kind of things David had to go through on a daily basis. There was a pastoral team there and I knew that their function was a support function so before he went, I made contact with the school and asked to speak to the head of that pastoral team to make them aware of Sam's visible difference and to ask him to keep an eye on him and to let me know if he got any issues, but also for him to have a point of contact within that team so that he could go to if he experienced problems as well. The advice I'd give to teachers is to look into it. If you've got somebody in your class with a visible difference, look into what resources are available, how you can help that child and listen to them. If they're telling you that somebody's saying something nasty, they are saying something nasty. It's not that it's just, oh, it's just a bit of banter in the playground. It's not, it's personal. So listen to the children and sort out some help.